Hi, Taurus. It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy. Happy birthday, boo. I hope all is well. Hopefully, you got to see the happy birthday message I sent you or I uh, videotaped for you. Make sure you check out the happy birthday Taurus reading. I guess I'll attach it at the end of this video for you, right? Otherwise, you can go to the uh, Taurus 2022 playlist and you can check it out. Hope all is well and that you guys are enjoying your birthday season. We got the North Node in your house. So, um,. A lot of beautiful things are going to be happening for you all, okay? For those of you who did the work and got rid of the toxic connections out of your life, beautiful things are coming. That's, a, that's an amazing, amazing energy um, that you are going to be experiencing if you're not already. But we're doing a True Intentions reading right here for the month of April. We want to see what's going on with you and this person that you're thinking of at the time that this video is being watched by you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. It's a general reading. If you need a personal, I got discounts going on for multiple placements of Taurus. So make sure you check the community tab for that information. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. And don't forget to like the video, especially if it resonates. All right, I'm going to put some cards out here. See what's going on with you and this person. It doesn't matter who this person is in their relationship to you. It could be a friend, a family member, somebody you work with. It could be your landlord. It could be your kid's teacher. It don't matter who this is, okay? Whoever it is you're thinking of. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but a lot of times it it will be, all right? But it could be um, a mother, family member. But I want to see the dynamics between you and this person. So I'm going to put out six cards first. Look at the energy between you two. And then I'm going to put out cards to see how this person feels about you, what their true intentions are. So, let's see what we get here. All right, this is going to tell me if my camera is straight or not. It looks like it's as straight as it's going to get, I guess. Uh, I'm in the process of changing things around. For those who are familiar with the, the channel or for those who are may not like the view, be patient with me. <laughs> All right, one more card. Okay, so the mo the mutual energy between you two, or the theme for your dynamics is the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is your energy, Taurus energy, all right, the King of Pentacles. So it's in reverse. So this could be an energy of someone who may be stubborn, someone who's still stuck in a connection that is no good for them, somebody who... Uh, Maybe they have children and they may not be taking care of their children. This could be somebody who's married, who sleeps around on their partner, or your partner sleeps around on you. Uh, this could be somebody who does not work. Maybe they live off of other people. Somebody who is basically lazy and doesn't want to work. Okay? So this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay? This person could have been um, treating you this way, or this person may think that this is you. But let's get into this. So we have the Nine of Cups energy. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles came out in reverse. We have the King of Cups energy in reverse. The Major Arcana of the World, which is Saturn energy. We have the Knight of, uh, I'm sorry, the Page or the Knave of Wands came out in reverse. And the King of Wands came out in reverse. Hmm. So, a lot of masculine energy here. We got three kings out here. So that might be significant to some of you who uh, resonate with having three kings in a spread, however that resonates. Now, all the kings are in reverse, okay? So uh, one person here is, um, I feel as though somebody is definitely taking advantage of someone. There's one person here who's definitely taking advantage of somebody. This person may not work. Okay, um, this person may uh, be, they may not want to do any work. Okay, another thing, what I'm seeing here is there's somebody who might be in a relationship that they're stuck in. Um, they're getting benefit out of it. There's very little work that they have to put into it. Um, they're comfortable within it for whatever reason. Also, I see someone here who's um, self-indulgent, only cares about what they want. They don't put any effort or energy or attention into the other partner. Um, and if they do, it's to manipulate them in some way, shape, or form. 
uh, I feel a negative attachment here. For other for the other person here, we have the world energy here. So somebody is um, realizing that you know there's some type of restraint that needs to be put down, or some type of uh, restriction or cancellation of something needs to be done. Uh, but somebody does not have the guts to do it, okay? Or they're afraid to do it. Maybe they're afraid that this person may retaliate. Uh, also, what could be going on is somebody could be saying, you know what, I'm not going to be intimate with this person anymore. Uh, I, I no longer want to. Somebody may have uh, decided not to be sexually active. Um, somebody wants to end the situation also, but they may be scared. It could be because they have children with this person. But uh, there's definitely an energy here of one person definitely getting over on the other or taking advantage of the other. Or somebody who's comfortable in the situation and very stagnant and they don't want to change. But the relationship is really uh, painful. Uh, yeah, so we have the knight, I'm sorry, the king of, of uh, pentacles in reverse. The nine of swords in reverse. The knight of swords. The page of pentacles in reverse. And then we have judgment in reverse. Okay. So judgment, that's Pluto energy. That's your opposite polarity of Scorpio, the south node. So yeah, this is definitely a very toxic connection. Um, there's no loyalty here. There's no trust here. Uh, uh, it looks like people say whatever it is they need to say just to get by. No real communication or connection here. Uh, somebody may have a child with this person here because we got the king of pentacles as well as the knight of pentacles. Somebody may have cheated on somebody. Somebody may have found out a child is not theirs. It belongs to somebody else. Because we got the King of Pentacles and the Knight and the Knave of Pentacles, and both in reverse. And we have the King of Wands and the Knave of Wands or the Page of Wands in reverse. So there could be a lack of uh, sexual attraction here. There could be a lack of money. Uh, there's a lack of uh, desire here. Okay. For some of you, and then we have the King of Cup energy in reverse. It could be that this person may be in love with someone else. Or this person, um, they're manipulating the situation to get whatever they can get out of it. Like maybe this person's with you, or you're with them and you're not working. Somebody could be benefiting financially is what I'm getting here. Let's see what else we got going on. We're going to see just how this person feels about you. person feel about Taurus the energy this person was in the last time you spoke to them or the last time you were around them three of pentacles in reverse what they feel about you overall how they see the connection between you two ten of swords reverse how does this person feel about you deep down you may not notice they never made they never uh, expressed this to you the two of cups the mutual energy between the two. The two of pentacles. External factors keeping you from working things out. Ace of pentacles. Okay, and judgment came out as the last card here. Overall energy about how this person feels about you. Uh, we have the... Is this the sun? This is the hermit energy in reverse. Hermit energy. That is... Uh, Virgo energy. The Hermit is um, a wise energy. Okay. When it's in reverse, this is somebody not taking action on their intuitive energies because the opposite polarity of the uh, Hermit energy is the High Priestess energy. Okay. Because uh, High Priestess is, is uh, Pisces. Opposite polarity of Pisces is Virgo, which is the Hermit energy. So uh, they're one and the same. They're masculine and feminine versions. All right. Uh, the feminine version is the uh, intuitive uh, aspect of it. The masculine version is the hermit, uh, the hermit energy. So somebody is not acting out, not taking action uh, based on what their intuition is telling them or they're ignoring their intuition. They're not changing their habits. They're not changing their routine. They're not changing their pattern. This could also represent illness. OK, because the king of pentacles was in reverse uh, in the last breath. So there could be some illness here or sickness here. Uh, but you know, cause the hermit represents health. So it could be poor routine, poor habits. Um, but let's see. So the energy this person was in the last time you spoke with them is the three of pentacle energy in reverse. 
So it, it looks as though maybe you and this person have had some problems of working things out. Uh, there could have been someone who come between you all. There also could have been uh, somebody that this person was working with uh, to go against you, okay, in some way, shape, or form. But the, the way this person feels about you or the way they see you is they see you as um, somebody who could be done with the connection. They see you as somebody who's had their la who is uh, on their last straw as far as, you know, the lies and the deceit. They see that you may be somebody who's not going for, um, you know, whatever it is that they're telling you, okay? They see you as somebody who feels betrayed. How they feel about you deep down, whether you know it or not, I don't think they've even told you this, but... You know, you may already know this, but this is a two of cup energy here, okay? So uh, this person does want some type of, uh, they they have a romantic feeling towards you for sure with the two of cup energy. So for most of you, this is a romantic partner. Um, the mutual energy is between you two is the two of pentacles. So this is all about priorities. Just like the hermit energy, it's about the hierarchical order of things. You know, your routines, your patterns. So somebody may not be making this relationship a priority or somebody may want someone else to make it a priority. So with the two of pentacles here, this could also represent somebody dealing with someone else because we do have the three of pentacle energy in reverse. The mutual, uh, well, the reason why things are not working out between you two is the ace of pentacles. Uh, it could be that there's a lack of commitment or it could be uh, a lack of trust. It could also just be that somebody's around for financial gain. Uh, because we do have Pluto energy here. Pluto deals with other people's energy, other people's money, your money and their money combined, your energy and their energy combined, uh, power struggles between you two, right? Uh, so with this energy here, Pluto, where's Pluto right now? Pluto's in Capricorn and it's going retrograde in Capricorn on the 30th. Hold on a second. Let me just see where this energy is in your chart. Here you are. Okay. 12, 11, 10. It's in your ninth house. So your ninth house is about experience, the things you've experienced, the wisdom you've gained from it. So with uh, Pluto in your ninth house going in retrograde, it's going to make you, it's going to test you. So some of you are going to be tested. This person, if you've already left them behind, they're coming back around. Or you're in the connection with someone that you may, uh, the universe may not want you to be with this person. And you're going to be tested in some way, shape, or form. Uh, in reference to this connection, we have the Hermit energy, the Nine of Wands energy. What is this? The, nine, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Page of Cups, and then the Wheel of Fortune. So, uh, hmm. The Hermit in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse. Hmm. And then the eight of wands in reverse. Six and eight are fourteen. We got fourteen. The okay. So yeah, this is definitely um, a situation here where you two are not. Uh, it's interesting because the fourteen, the number, made, the major arcana fourteen is temperance. Uh, temperance is uh, Sagittarius energy, and Sagittarius rules the ninth house. And you got Pluto in your ninth house. So this is why I'm saying Pluto is going to go in retrograde there. And when it goes in retrograde, it's going to make you look to see if there's balance there. and Because uh, there's a power struggle between you and this person. It, it is not balanced. That's why the uh, wands are in reverse here. Okay, there's frustration here. Um, somebody is not able to uh, move forward in the manner in which they want to. There's, no, there's a lack of uh, desire here. Yeah, there's an energy of uh, somebody who may look at the situation as, you know, this is this is not what they want. They don't want to be. Mm. Wow. So with this hermit energy, let's see, the hermit is what house for you, Taurus? One, two, three, four, five, five, your fifth house. Okay. So this was a fling for some of you that lasted a very long time, or you have somebody who's dealing with other people, messing around with other people. Yeah, because the Six of Wands is here in reverse, um, and the Eight of Wands is in reverse. So you may not know that this person is communicating with other people. 
They could be sleeping with these people unprotected as well. Is what I'm getting here. But I do feel like with this Wheel of Fortune energy, this person's going to come back around. Or they want you to come back around. But they're not offering anything. They're coming in page energy with the page of cups in, this, in the Wheel of Fortune. So this is somebody who is not going to change their ways. This is a player energy here with this Virgo energy in reverse. All right. Um, and this is somebody who does not practice uh, decent hygiene either. Uh, meaning that they may sleep with people without condoms, other people without condoms or without protection. Okay. Uh, and they sleep with a lot of people. Okay, and the Six of Wands energy in reverse is reconfirming that for me. So you definitely want to be careful with this person. Um, so yeah, the, this person sees you as somebody who um, doesn't want to be with them anymore. Uh, maybe you've expressed this to this person. Um, maybe you haven't, but I believe your behavior may show that. Uh, because with the Ten of Swords energy in reverse here, this person sees you as somebody who may forgive them despite what they've done. You may just let it go and, and allow them to continue with their antics. Um, but I'm concerned that they could be working with someone else against you. It could be a, a, a partner or some type of partner of theirs. It could be working against you. Now, I don't know if some of you are dealing with someone at your job or we're dealing with someone at your job. Because there's some, there's some shady shady stuff going on with this Three of Pentacles energy in reverse. Uh, because the way they see you, they could be trying to take advantage of you. This person could be trying to set you up for whatever reason, okay? Um, it could be that they're, you know, playing a game to try to get you back into their life, okay? That could be what's going on too. They may have help because they see that you're, like, done. So they could be enlisting people to help them, Um but I do feel like your person is dealing with someone else. I do. You could be looking at this like, do I even want to make this a priority? But your person is looking at this as if, okay, they need to spend more time with you. They're not going to spend as much time with the other person. And so the thing is, is that this person is not giving you commitment and loyalty. And this is where the problem is right here, right? Because this is the energy that represents what, what um, outside factors keep you two from working things out. And it's the Ace of Pentacles, lack of commitment. Because you got a player energy here. Definitely got a player energy. You guys don't see things the same way. Um, as far as, you know, the ninth house is all about your spiritual beliefs, your religious beliefs, uh, your philosophical beliefs, in reference to the things you've experienced, the wisdom that you've acquired. Uh, but you and this person are not aligned. You're not on the same page. at all i get that you need to be careful with this person though because um i get that they're doing something real they're doing some real grimy sexual uh activity with folk uh or establishing all kinds of uh, uh uh sexual ties you know soul ties with folk like i said this person is not using condoms they keep doing the same thing over and over and they're not going to change. Like, this is what they're known to do. They have a reputation for doing this. And it does not look like they're going to change. You know, they don't want to fix it. Virgo is an energy of fixing it. With the Hermit energy in reverse, they don't want to fix things. Okay? Um, and with the Eight of Wands energy in reverse, like, this is Sagittarius energy. Again, more Sagittarius energy is showing up here in reference to you two not being aligned. You don't have the same views in life. This person is not interested in a serious relationship, all right? So you may have been in a situation with this person for a period of time. They may care about you. They do love you, uh, but they can't help but to cheat, whoever you're dealing with. Like, this is somebody, they got to work on themselves. And you sticking around is just going to torture you. Because with this uh, energy here, you know, this is an energy of you, a power struggle between you and this person. This is an energy of, okay, well, this person, you know, they're not going to be loyal, so are you going to stick around? They're not going to give you commitment. Are you going to stick around? You know, or if you are married to this person, they're not going to stop cheating. Are you going to stick around? Are you going to continue to allow them to do whatever it is that they do? There's no trust between you two. Because we got the three, we got three pentacles here, upright. 
And then we got three pentacles in reverse here. They cancel themselves out. So there's no trust. There's no loyalty. Okay? There's betrayal. Somebody's tired of it with the ten of swords in reverse. And somebody's sitting here with the Pluto energy, uh, assessing the situation, trying to figure out what they're going to do. So what we'll do is we'll go into the extended and we'll get some clarity on the situation. I'm going to pull a few cards for each of these so that we can get a little bit deeper into this and find out how this person really feels about you. But um, they're struggling here because they do love you. They do care for you. But they're not going to be loyal. They're not going to be faithful. They don't have it in them. This is somebody who is, they're not, they're not mature enough. They're only coming with page energy. And they're coming back to start over again. With the wheel energy here and the page. This is what they're coming back to bring. Page energy. They're not going to change their ways. It's very important that you, they're not going to make you a priority either. Because you know, the, the, the sixth house is all about priorities. What's important? What's not important? And that's what your concern is. Your concern is, why don't you make me a priority? If you want this connection, why don't you do that? Well, this person is struggling with that. Okay? They're struggling with their own sexual desires and the things that they got going on and what they want to do versus what they won't want to do. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who may be struggling with their sexuality as in they may date the same. They may, uh, on, under, on the low, they may like the same, um, the same sex. Okay, for some of you, this person may have been uh, abused sexually as a child. And so that's something that they are not, there's, this is why they run around sleeping with everybody. Okay, um, and this is why, you know, unfortunately, some people, when they experience um, those types of traumas, there's different ways that it comes out and, and, and it manifests in their life. Um, sometimes people will sleep around, you know, um, sometimes people will... Um, and that's the way they express it to get to get it out of them. You know, like when something happens to you traumatically, you handle it one of two ways. You either internalize it or you ex you know you externalize it. So that means you um, you know you you uh, give it to the people who are around you. Um, you know, to you express yourself in an outwardly way where you have sex with a lot of people. Okay, um, you may be known as promiscuous. This person may be known as promiscuous. See, when it happens with women, they call them hoes. And, you know, you ever seen young girls when you grow up, maybe 15, 16, look at some of the girls you were in grade school, junior high, and high school with, the ones that slept around a lot. Unfortunately, some of them um, were sexually assaulted as children, you know, and so that's what they know and they understand that that's why you show your love to people. And so this is what they do. Others... They internalize it. They may eat a lot. They may uh, do drugs. Um, you know, they just may be in a state where you know something is up with them. Um, so this this happens to men too. A lot of people don't look at it because the society teaches us men are able to do what they, they can sleep around. It's okay to do that. But a lot of them do it because just like the same as the young girls who've been molested or sexually assaulted. That is something that that's some sometimes that's the way that it comes out. Until they actually sit down and really do, like, why am I sleeping with all these people? Why can't I settle down? Why can't I just be with one person? You could be married to this person and they still cheat. It's like, why can't I do it? I love this person. They love you. They love you. But they got some underlying, you know, the scorpionic energy here. There's some underlying issues going on. And like I said, with the knight, the king of, of wands in reverse and the page of wands in reverse came out in the last spread and in the last spread we had the king of pentacles in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse this person maybe didn't have a father around or maybe the father was physically abusive or or there was somebody who sexually assaulted them something went on with this person okay and they got to do their own healing so you got to step away from them see this is beyond you you know you trying to work with somebody to see if it'll, it this is not your this is not your issue this is not your battle this is not your fight so you're coming up out of that scorpio south node energy okay and you want to go towards your north node which is having peace okay uh being in a position where you're comfortable where things are good where you deserve to have good things you deserve to be happy uh no stress that's the taurus energy okay but this person that you're dealing with, they're that scorpionic, that tight, that toxic scorpionic energy. All scorpionic energy is not toxic, contrary to what some people tell you. It can very well be if you don't assess it 
and understand why you do what you do. And that's the hard part of the Scorpio energy as well. The one part is you doing toxic shit. The other half of it is why you're doing it. And if people don't want to sit down and do the work, the shadow work, they're going to continue with that toxic energy. Your person has not done the shadow work yet. So let's go to the extended. The link's in the box below. If this resonates with you or someone you know, make sure you click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell, okay? Um... Happy birthday to you. If you need a personal read, look in the community tab at the discounted rates I offer or hit me up at 8th House Energy at gmail.com. I got you. All right. I'll see you in the extended. If not, Taurus, I'll see you in the next reading. Happy birthday to you.